guys and welcome to MedTech in the Making. For today's video, we are going to talk about a health information system that is being used in our country, the Philippines. And that is the Wireless Access for Health. So, what is Wireless Access for Health? Wireless Access for Health is a digital solution that develops local government and small health facilities wherein they offer to transform local healthcare delivery. Traditionally, information has to be manually recorded on a paper, a process that is not only time-consuming but also an error-prone. And accessing and managing in this manner is labor-intensive and the data can often be outdated or incorrect. However, supported by Qualcomm Wireless Reach in collaboration with various stakeholders through a multi-sector collaboration, Wireless Access for Health is designed to improve healthcare in the Philippines by reducing the time required to record and report health data while also improving access to accurate and relevant patient information for clinicians and decision makers. The platform is a field health PCB and ECRIMS compliance and follows the Department of Health FHSIS or Field Health Service Information System Reporting Standard. For the features of wireless access for health, it has been categorized into four. First, we have WH4 Clinics. WH4 Clinics is an electronic medical recording system for small local clinics. It provides recording and reporting of patient and clinic information required by PhilHealth. And the DOH including medicine, inventory dispensing, laboratory and diagnostics, ICD diagnosis, coding procedures, and health programs such as maternal and child care, family planning, TB, malaria, rabies, NCD, and adolescent health. Second, we have WH4 hospitals. WH4 Hospital is a hospital information system fit for community hospitals and infirmaries. Central to the system is the enterprise resource planning, module required by the UHC Law WH Award winning Hospital E Claims module. Third, we have WH4 Patients. WH4 Patients are modules developed to improve pa patient health-seeking behavior and encourage feedback. These include health alerts, reminders, bulletins, and follow-up appointments via SMS, digital feedback by patient on clinic service and personnel, and patient queuing system. Last but not the least, CRAMS, COVID-19 risk assessment, monitoring, and management systems of offers online registrations, reporting, and management active cases. It has a robust data ana analyt analytics feature including patient and hospital tracking, PPE supply and demand chain analysis, and patient risk assessment and classification. Now, why choose this system? Usually, patients wait longer for the record to be located as files. But with this system, there is a production of more quality time among the patient rather than the paperwork itself. Fast forward, wireless access for health is a system that is actually and actively used until today. With the COVID-19 outbreak, the system has been used by frontliners, particularly Interlap. Do not just see the community's daily active cases count or determining of prioritization, but also use their website to search for a certain patient and then find their record for the purpose of determining how to assess this patient that was recently quarantined due to them being a close contact with, let's say, a COVID positive person. And if he or she needs to be thoroughly looked after, enabling the response team to have accurate and timely data to be presented. To add, the gathered data then leads to better governance and better management by the administrators. Wireless Access for Health's function, especially to this ongoing pandemic, is the proof itself that it has edge against other systems. 
Wireless Access for Health has been supported and founded by the Provincial Government and Provincial Health Office of Karnak, as well as 150 plus cities from different regions of the country. In order to find its way internationally, it must succeed locally. That is why being stated as the most successful digital project partnership on digital health in the country, accompanied by their health platform and award winning of resource health management information system software, functioned up until this day, one of the earliest to follow what is the walk of INC. As the system has the same focus which is on using 3G wireless technology in healthcare applications, aside from these institutions in the Philippines partnered with the successful HRSDMD, Perlac Provincial Health Office, Zulu Family Foundation, Perlac State University, RTI International, Tanda Foundation, USA, Surigao del Sur Province, Lulubigan ng Aurora, Tagaytay City, Province of Ilocos Sur, Tular sa Magusugan, in the Philippines Department of Health, and the Fair Health. Change Management Processes WAH, or Wireless Access for Health's technical assistance, is predicated on theory of change. As such, WAH and its partners are committed to adopting and implementing planned and strategic changes over the course of the partnership. They provide number one, on site and off site training and hand holding. Number two, tech support and servicing. As judged by PhilHealth as 2018 and 2019's most responsive EMR provider, WAH offers reliable online, SMS, and call tech support and servicing. This strictly adheres with PhilHealth's prescribed service level agreement or SLA among EMR providers. With just a few clicks, the process of new patient registration would be a lot more faster and the authorized personnel will immediately access the medical health record of the patient. Their name, age, address, their full health number, their complaint notes, their history, their schedule, their patent group, their last visits and recent visit, and etc. That will help medical workers in providing immediate response. This also enables them to access not only accurate data but real-time data. Number 3. Continuing Capacity Training, Monitoring, and Support WAH, or Wireless Access for Health, commits to regular, on-site monitoring and continuing skills development of the end users, with online and on-site cluster training and tutoring. Number 4. Knowledge Conferences, Conventions, and Meetings this organizes hosts a number of national and regional activities where partners can meet with PhilHealth, the DOH or the Department of Health, and other stakeholders that will help them craft more responsive policies because public and digital health demand rigorous discussion of issues, especially on health financing. Number 5. Train Now, Pay Later Wireless Access for Health takes pride in helping poor LGUs or local government unit, LGUs and facilities that have little cash to invest on WAH can now perceive the partnership with a guarantee of health financing revenues through their PCB or primary care benefits and e-claims full health reimbursements. Number 6. Guaranteed full health financing gains WAH, or Wireless Access for Health, has helped hundreds of LGUs and health facilities increase revenues from PhilHealth reimbursements. Since 2016, Wireless Access for Health facilitated the payments of more than $150 million to partner health facilities and LGUs. Wireless Access for Health indeed is the system compatible with all major health programs, as the matter of fact, while we're able to train 175 doctors, 85 dentists, 107 medical technologists, 
693 nurses, 961 midwives, and 737 other personnel. To add, what teams have conducted over 261 training sessions for 141 clinics in 100 municipalities and 5 cities in 26 provinces. To know more about them, you may visit their Wireless Access for Health website. That's it for this video. This is MedTech in the Making and thank you for listening.